Here on the Colour of Country Life Low FM, we're speaking with Stuart Grimley, the Western Victorian MLC for Hinch's Justice Party. How are you, Stuart? Yeah, very good, thanks, mate. How are you going? Good, thank you. We've been covering for some time on Flow, this challenge with the regional housing uh, throughout Western Victoria, Northern Victoria, and you've been saying a fair bit about it as well, and good to see the Victorian government's now sort of making some moves in this regard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it is very, very pleasing to see the announcement um, that's come forward. Um, yeah, this is something, as, as you know, and as listeners will know, in regional Victoria that low rentals, uh, you know, low availability of social housing, um, you know, it's just a, it's a massive problem. Um, some, some councils that we've been to in Western Victoria, you know, pretty much got a 0% vacancy at the moment. So there's just no properties available whatsoever, uh, which is causing an incredible strain on the local community. Yeah, and that's uh, you know really caused some difficulties in uh, the north and west of Victoria in terms of when we've got people moving out of metropolitan Melbourne looking for somewhere else to live. And it does seem it's our, I guess, people in the lower socioeconomic group that ends up being pushed out of housing in that instance. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's wonderful that uh, people want to live and move to regional Victoria. It's such a beautiful part of, of Victoria. But unfortunately, um, you know, the, uh, the Victorian government is very metrocentric and that comes at a cost of regional Victorians. So, you know, we've been we've been working hard in the background to try to get some uh, solutions happening. Um, and the regional housing summit, I'm, I'm pleased to say, is something that the government has has listened to. Now uh, it looks like what is it the fourth of October at Creswick? What else do we know about what this summit's going to look like? Yeah, that, that's pretty much um, what we sort of know at this stage. It, uh, I thought there may have been um, a bit more to it than that, and, and I'm hopeful that perhaps down the track they will visit um, other locations as well in regional Victoria because um, th- this whole idea of, of the regional summit actually stemmed from a meeting that I had with, with the minister at the time and um, and they asked, you know, the office asked, how can we fix, you know, these issues in, in regional Victoria with the with the housing crisis? And I said, well, I don't have the answers, but I can tell you now that, that people that actually live in the communities, um, the stakeholders, the councils, the residents, they've got plenty of answers. They've got plenty of ideas and plenty of solutions. So, you know, the 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 point to begin with would be to go out to those areas and actually ask them what they think um, the solutions are. And I'm pleased to say that's what they're finally doing. And what are some of the suggestions you've heard? I mean, is it about land supply, about the councils being able to have red tape cut so they can make more land available for people to build affordable housing on? Yep, absolutely. There's that. And there's also incentives to get developers out to regional Victoria, which is often quite difficult. Um, councils are now becoming pseudo-developers themselves, uh, which is a which is an interesting initiative and seems to be working. Um, you know, there are just some of the solutions uh, that, that, that are available. At the end of the day, though, if we do have builders and developers and workers that move out into the regions to help develop those communities, the irony is, is that they'll have nowhere to stay while they're there. <laughs> that is ironic. Yeah, quite often they have to stay in the hotels, which is fantastic for the local hotel economy. Uh, but then, you know, there's no places for tourists to stay. Um, yeah, so there's such a such a catch-22 situation at the moment. So, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that the community will have the answers and will have the solutions. Um, there's some brilliant minds out there, so let's uh, let's wait and see what happens. And there's a, is there a degree to which the government plays a role when it comes to social housing supply, government-owned housing? Is that part of the picture as well for regional Victoria? I, w- I would hope so. There needs to be a minimum um, amount of social housing put aside for you know for, for developers. Um, absolutely. Uh, what I saw in my time as a police officer was. Um, in particular for crisis accommodation uh, in regional areas, it's just non-existent. And, and you just can't have uh, you know, people going through family violence um, incidents being being put into substandard hotel rooms where, you know, in some instances, we had a family of five stay in a, a little one-bedroom motel room for three nights, which is just ridiculous. So, you know, there need, needs to be much, much more done in that space as well. So are we kind of playing catch-up on what was a looming problem or is the government kind of blindsided by, I guess, the outcomes of the handling of the pandemic and people leaving Melbourne in bigger numbers than they expected? I think it was a too hard basket, uh, to be honest with you. I think it's something that they know they, they knew had been coming for a while, um, did not have the solutions. Uh, this should have been done, you know, quite a while ago but unfortunately we are playing catch up and I suppose it's better late than never but but yes this is a uh, this is a big big problem and uh, and at least they're recognizing that now and and hopefully we'll we'll get some movement I guess nothing puts something in the spotlight like an upcoming election Stuart Grimley from Western Victoria for the Hinch's Justice Party thank you very much for joining us today on flow good on you mate cheers